Hi, welcome to Informatica video cabby session. My name is Nagaraja Rao from Global Customer Support Informatica. This cabby session discusses about power center repository to domains. The agenda of the session is discussion about repository to domain and its components, global repository, local repository, how can we create global repository and how can we register the lo uh, local repository with its global repository and uh, what is global shortcut and uh, how to create the global shortcut and also the state folders in the global repositories. Coming to the repository domain, repository domain is a group of repositories in the power center. We can manage the process of developing and maintaining multiple data warehouses and other integration projects by using a repository domain. Repositories within the repository domain can be connected each other. A repository domain consists of a single global repository and any number of local repositories. The global repository is used for storing and reusing shared metadata. Power center repository can be standalone, local or global. Now I'll show how a global repository can be created. While creating the repository service, we have an option called create as global repository. We can select this option to create a global repository. Once the repository is created as global repository, we are not able to revert back to the local repository. We can save any metadata that we plan to share across repositories in the global repository. Local repositories can then use shortcuts to object in the global repository shared folders. When we configure shared folders in a repository, we can share the objects in the folder with other repositories in the repository domain. We can share the objects to re reuse metadata. How to register a local repository with a global repository? In the admin console, uh, we are seeing one global repository and local repository. Now, uh, uh, Pointing to the global repository, I can go to the actions and then repository domain and register local repository. Using this feature, we can able to register a local repository with its global repository. For the giving the uh, which local repository we need to register, we have to give the domain where the local repository is running and uh, we can also able to register the local repositories that are running in different domain. Once we select the domain, the next option will provide a list of uh, repository services that are configured in that particular domain. By giving the username and password, we are able to register the local repository with the global repository. Currently, I registered uh, the local repository with my global repository and I am able to view the registered repositories. See, this is the local repository that has been registered with the global repository that I am currently pointed. We can also uh, maintain the, manage the domain list by giving the domain details. If we want to uh, associate the repositories from different domains, then we need to first give the details of the domain, where the domain is running, on which port and the host name. Like this, we can able to register the global repository with a uh, local repository with a global repository. Now, uh, what is a global shortcut and how to create a global shortcut? A global shortcut is a shortcut in a local repository that references an object in a global repository. We can create a global shortcut in any folder in the local repository. After we create the global shortcut in a folder, we can reuse it in the folder as like any other repository object. To create a global shortcut, we must be able to connect to the global repository through the local repository. That is, if we connect to the local repository directly, the global repository must appear in the local repository. Similarly, if you connect to the global repository directly, the local repository must appear in the global repository. By using the Power Center Degenerate Client application, we can able to connect the global and local repositories individually. However, 
to create a global shortcut we must connect one repository through the other we can connect to the global repository first then connect to the local repository directly below it to create a global shortcut now i will show you how a global shortcut can be created now i have configured the global and local repositories in my power center designer client once i open the designer client i am able to see the local repository where uh, i have to connect to the local repository by connecting into my global repository then i am able to create a global shortcut now i have a source that is exists in the shared folder called uh, that exists in the shared folder now if i want to create a shortcut uh, for this source in the global in the in my local repository then i have to open the local connect to the local repository from my global repository and then i have to drag that then into the works i have to drag the source to the workspace then it asks create a shortcut to the source table when i select as then the shortcut will get created in my local repository that is pointing to the uh, source object original object in the source in the global repository we can able to see the repository name is global repository and the folder is shared folder and the table where my shortcut is pointing to once i apply a save on it then i am able to view the same shortcut in my local repository if i connect to the local repository directly like see, uh, as we see the local repository that can able to connect from the global repository we can also able to connect to the global repository by connecting to the local repository now when i connect to the non shared folder i am able to see the shortcut to the my oracle source this uh, the object is present in the global repository like this we can able to uh, uh, create a global shortcuts now uh, uh, what is the use of global shortcuts it's basically the use of global shortcuts is uh, the reusing of metadata and also the maintaining of integrity of metadata we can reuse the metadata between the repositories by creating a global shortcut and uh, when uh, the virtual object has got changed in the global repository all the shortcuts can reflect those changes suppose if a folder is not shared in the global repository then we can make a copy of the object in the global repository if the global and local repository should have the compatible code pages if you have any doubts regarding this uh, presentation please mail to support videos at informatica.com thank you